fixed asset, also known as a long-term asset, is a tangible asset used in the normal course of business, such as property, plant, and equipment. If a company owns a fixed asset and uses it to generate revenue, adjusting entries will be needed to depreciate the asset. Depreciation is the process of allocating the cost of property, plant, and equipment over their expected useful lives as an expense. Depreciation expense supports the matching principle, that is, matching or allocating the cost of the fixed asset to the revenue generated over time by that fixed asset. Examples of depreciable fixed assets include buildings, machinery, equipment, vehicles such as aircraft and automobiles, furniture, and fixtures. The recording of depreciation expense in accounting aims to recognize the wear and tear and use of such fixed assets in generating revenue. Note that while land is considered to be a fixed asset, it is not depreciable because first, it tends to appreciate, and second, it does not suffer wear and tear. Suppose that an airline purchases an airplane to operate flights. The airplane will help the airline generate revenue for many years. For example, Global Air buys a Boeing 737 on January 1st of this year for $84 million. As the Boeing 737 transports passengers and cargo, there is wear and tear and decline in usefulness over time, causing depreciation in value. By the same token, such flights generate revenue for Global Air. The process of recording depreciation expense allocates the purchase cost of $84 million over the aircraft's useful life, say 20 years, using a depreciation method, say the straight line method, which gradually reduces the carrying amount of a fixed asset over its useful life. The recording of depreciation expense supports the matching principle. Accumulated depreciation is recorded at the end of the period. In the case of the $84 million airplane depreciated using straight line method over 20 years, the annual depreciation expense would be $84 million divided by 20 years, or $4.2 million. If the company records the depreciation expense monthly, the expense would be $4.2 million divided by 12 months, or $350,000 per month. The adjusting entry to be made at the end of the period would be a debit, an increase to depreciation expense, and a credit, an increase in accumulated depreciation. The accumulated depreciation account is an example of a contra account used to reduce an asset account to its book value or carrying value. A contra account is associated with another main account, in this case, the fixed asset account, and has a balance that is opposite to the normal balance of the main account. The purpose of the accumulated depreciation account is to keep a running total of how much depreciation expense has been booked to date, and by how much to reduce the original cost of the asset on the balance sheet. After seven months of depreciation, the Boeing 737's total depreciation expense is $2.45 million. That is, $350,000 times seven equals $2.45 million. The Boeing 737's book value, the cost of the asset after its accumulated depreciation is subtracted, will be $81,550,000. $84 million minus $2,450,000.